here I was in Romania uh, for the second time. I was in Romania about four times in the first and uh, Iraq. Uh, I used to, when I was younger, I was the chief instructor of from a guy in the Israel and military. And that was years ago. And over the past, uh, it, it was back in the early 80s, uh, over the past 40 years, the name Kamal Guy is famous around the world. However, most people have no clue what is Kamal Guy. Uh, Krav Maga is just a Hebrew name for hand-to-hand -hand fighting training system. Uh, how to defend yourself, whether if you're a man, woman, or, or a young child, not too young, but somebody that can train and comprehend and, and hit somebody. Uh, how to train not to get killed or kill somebody if you have to with your bare hands. Uh, Krav Maga is basically uh, a relook at all the existing martial arts that over the time became more of a sport or a social a fitness event. Uh, it, it's a scientific look at how to reach somebody's pressure point and control them before they control your pressure point. If you control somebody's pressure point, you give them enough pain so they cannot attack you and, or try to kill you. And uh, that's the idea about Kamala. Map somebody's pressure points and create a navigate, navigational plan. How to reach them and how to hit them, and how to maximize your, the force of your strikes and kick. Um, you learn how to punch, how to kick, how to block punches and kicks. You learn how to do grappling in a close range, how to throw somebody down, how to pluck their foot, uh, their groin, um, how the eyes or break their neck. Uh, you learn how to block, how to use a knife, how to block a knife attack, uh, how to use a stick, and how to block a stick at, at, uh, attack. The idea about anything that you can do with your body as a weapon, or in a short range where you can reach somebody, even if you have a small extension like a knife or a stick, uh, how to handle it. You know, yeah. So the idea is to reprogram whatever you have, not to make you stronger. Yeah, I mean, physical fitness is good, so you don't hurt yourself when you train. But the idea is to use what you have, uh, so you'll have a plan, an exact plan, how to bring it to somebody's line of defense uh, and, uh, and reach his pressure points and not let him break through your natural line of defense and reach your pressure point. Uh, if, if you have thousands of techniques in the other martial arts, now we only have about 215 techniques and 16 training drills that design how to use to drill these techniques in motion and give you awareness of what the human body can do. Uh, how can somebody attack you, choke you, punch you, kick you, and then knock you out or kill you with their hand or with a knife or with a stick or with a rope? And, and, you have to have a full awareness how you can do it and how, how fast it takes, so you have to be faster. You have to learn how to compensate for that and on time, stop them before it's too late. You know, and it's a complete second competition, you can stay alive with that. If you move in the right direction at the right speed, and stop it and, and then hit him in the right spot. So this is my Krav Maga, and uh, I think every good man or woman in the world needs that, that any child that can defend himself against bullying or against an adult have enough force to do that or enough wisdom to be aware of the danger that can happen uh, and not to get into a situation where it's dangerous. You, you have to know that in another man or woman can, can hurt you with their body, with their hands, or with a needle. So, that, that's from a guy. It was uh, developing an Israeli military into a form that you can train somebody in 21 hours. You can train him in 215 techniques that cover all the na navigational reach of grappling, or punching, or kicking scenarios, uh, or knife stabbing, or club clubbing somebody. Uh, in, in 21 hours, you can go over everything. If you need extra hours of training, you do. But in one hour, when you teach a punch, how to do a knockout punch, uh, 
you have you have to make sure that out of 20 people in a class, you have to you know that some of them will take longer to learn the technique. So you have enough time to make sure that everybody knows how to punch with enough force to knock somebody uh, out. So that's the idea about Krav guy that 24 hours and you know you can do it in five days of training or you can repeat it three times in three weeks uh, with enough time for warm up and lunch. Uh, it, it's a quick learning method and it's it's a foolproof if you compare it to the other martial arts. Uh, it, you're not bound to rules of uh, just hitting the upper body or just kicking and not hitting the head or or not blocking somebody's throat, just try to restrain him on the ground or throw him down in a safe fall on a safe surface. Uh, basically learn how, how the body can fall and hurt itself uh, on a bad angle and, and how to, with a strike or, or a throat block, uh, kill somebody or knock him out. So, and, and you learn the human reaction time, which is basically an invisible limit where somebody can surprise you. So you, you learn the, the limits of the element of surprise. Uh, this is what Krav Maga and uh, since I, I feel that I'm one of the only people that know exactly what is Krav Maga, I was considered a top expert in Israel military while I was there. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one alive left from the three founders. The, 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 the founder and then his uh, student and the successor. I was number third in the, the, the Israel Defense Forces. And with a system left into the civilian school, it turned into a martial arts uh, on a judo system where there was not enough patience and uh, attention paid to the training steps and to the lethal element of it, to, to give somebody enough understanding, enough perception, and enough drilling of how things really work in, in, in real life and, and fast and how fast can it be. So instead of uh, assuming what kind of opponents you might encounter, you just assume the maximum capability of the human body. Two arms, two legs, somebody can kick you in the a, in a best, fastest way to reach your pressure point and you learn the fastest tactics, how to, tactics, how to stop it or how to attack first. And that's what I would do. And uh, you know, my students are nice people. Uh, many people are very nice, very nice culture, and I enjoy coming here and teaching. Um, and it, and I, I get gratification that people really learn and I correct them. And I'm happy that somebody can defend himself and feel safe. So this is why I'm here. That's about it. Thank you.